Friday, July 5th, 9.15 p.m. Mountain Time, 2019. Guys, there's been a huge aftershock in Ridgecrest, California, following the 6.4 earthquake yesterday. We're here at the USGS, and you can see there's been a 7.1 magnitude earthquake that they're showing right now as being a surface earthquake. So that means the ground would be rolling for miles from the epicenter of this 7.1 earthquake. We're going to go to the seismographs, and I'm going to take you to a location in Nevada right here. Tonopah Spring, Nevada. And this is the most recent look at the data on these seismographs. And you can see when this earthquake first occurred, look at that signature right there with the big gaps in between it. That is the ground rolling for the better part of 45 to 50 minutes. This was a very long duration earthquake, a very strong earthquake. That's why I've kind of waited to see what these seismos look like following this earthquake. And that is a very strong signature sending energy all the way over to Cuba. In fact, this was felt all the way around the world, clear up into the Netherlands. Look at there, Texas is jet black, and you can also see the ground in Texas was rolling for a very long time, according to this seismograph. So once again, a 7.1 huge aftershock has occurred in Southern California. It looks like there's a fault on the northern end of this number seven that we were talking about earlier today. The aftershocks were forming a number seven. Never really seen that before. Well, I think there's two distinct fault lines, one running this way, southeast to northwest, and then this one here running to the south southwest and we're going to take a look at a map that's got some fault lines on it in the Ridgecrest area and you can see Ridgecrest here and Ridgecrest over here on this map of fault lines and there does appear to be some movement on this fault line here which is right here and this fault line here that runs to the southwest so it's the one that expands from southeast to northwest that looks like it's got the majority of the movement nobody knows when this is going to stop or how far it's going to go we were talking though earlier today about the unusual pattern of this number seven forming while the top part of the seven has expanded the ground has rolled over in nevada for the better part of 50 minutes i think it stopped now but that is a very strong earthquake that more than who knows what's going to be the outcome of this quake it's too early to tell it's dark now but a shallow almost surface earthquake at 7.1 strength that is a really big deal so i think there's a fault line there guys that's moving yet once again so just a big heads up i know that you've all have heard of this earthquake but i just wanted to show you what i found there's a fault line that runs this way that i do think is showing signs of significant movement 7.1 aftershock ridgecrest california thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there guys